The purpose of this video is to help you understand the different step types you'll encounter in your TKL course. You have four different step types you'll come across. The first is learn about it, which focuses on factual and conceptual knowledge. Practice it, which focuses on transfer, application, and procedural knowledge. Reflect on it, which focuses on metacognitive knowledge. And master it, which are evaluative tasks that serve as summative assessments to measure your mastery of the course objectives. Let's look at each step type within a course. The first step type is a learn about it step. In this step, you'll encounter resources such as videos, articles, and blogs to help you learn factual and conceptual knowledge about the course content. You may encounter a learning log, which is simply available for you to take a few notes and process your learning about the course or the step so far. The learning log is not viewed by your course facilitator, and you will have an opportunity to download a participant guide that records all of your ideas and your reflections that you mark in open-ended boxes as you progress through the course. The next type of step is the practice it step. The practice it step gives you an opportunity to actually apply your learning um, to either simulated or real-world job tasks. There are two components to practice it steps. A practice it step may be for independent practice, in which case your course facilitator won't view it. It's just an opportunity for you to get more familiar with applications of the course content. Another type of practice it step is a guided practice. Guided practice steps have points associated with them, and so they may be a bit more involved than your independent practice steps. When you encounter a guided practice step, know that the purpose is to help you transfer your learning from the course into your daily practice with students. The next step type you may encounter is a reflect on it step. Reflect on it steps give you an opportunity for personal, collaborative, and critical reflection on course content. On a reflect on it step, you may encounter discussion forums where you have an opportunity to reflect with your colleagues, or you may find a learning log, uh, which is an opportunity for more personal reflection. Finally, we have master it steps, which are summative assessments that measure your mastery of the course objectives. Master it steps always have points associated with them and will be reviewed by a course facilitator. When you scroll down through your Master It step, you'll see directions and you'll also see a task-specific rubric. Ensure you review and the rubric prior to starting your Master It assessment to ensure you secure all of the points. The rubric will have indicators of quality work as well as a breakdown of expert, proficient, developing, and emerging levels for each indicator.